look familiar? <laughs> morning, every single last one of you. Good morning. My best wishes to you today. I hope you have a great day. I know I'm gonna have a great day. Look at the day outside, it's beautiful outside. Who couldn't have a great day in it? Look at that flag flying up there. All happy and proud and freezing cold. I came down here on uh, Highway 17 yesterday because Highway 11 was gonna go down below minus 30. Turns out it went down to minus 31 here last night anyways. Thank goodness for anti gel. I wonder how many drivers we're gonna see down the road that froze up. Very curious, let's go find out. All right, let's blow this box with sand. Let's get out there. Miles are waiting for us, Diesel. Let's get out of here. Sun is shining, the truck is running. It's a perfect day. With the sunshine being like this, it's gonna be a little bit scenic today too, eh? There you go, you're welcome. I didn't really have anything to do with it. But I know the guy who did, so I'll, I'll let him know you're, you're happy with it. Beautiful, beautiful day to be a truck driver. As beautiful as it's gonna get in the winter time. It's cold outside, but at least it looks nice, right? Very nice. So we're getting right close to Thunder Bay, Ontario. Thunder Bay is just across the border from uh, sort of right at the corner of the northeast corner of Minnesota and the northwest corner of uh, that other part of Michigan. What do you call that? Western Michigan, Northern Michigan, the other little slice there where not much is. And also Wisconsin comes up pretty close to those little corners where all the three states meet. You go just across the border into Canada, there's Thunder Bay. We're getting pretty close to that. Just off to my left, a few miles off, is one of the Great Lakes. Half of the lake is ours, half of the lake belongs to the United States. Or they claim it anyways. I don't know if any of the earth belongs to any of us. Well, there goes the general store. Why is everything rattling again? <laughs> it's a common theme in every video. Why is it rattling? So I believe this is Upsaw. Upsaw. We stay here sometimes. Uh, we're still not to Dryden yet. We passed Thunder Bay. We're still a giving her. In wintertime going through here, it's very beautiful if it's a day like this. Nice and sunny, the roads are dry. It's a good safe day just to rip it through here and just give her, you know? By rip it, I mean do the speed limit. Right? Right. But, oh man, roads are like drier than they were in summertime and just like the evergreens covered with snow on either side, snow bags piled on each side of the road. It's just marvelous creation we're running through right here. That's what I mean, I love winter time. I don't like the cold, I like the snow, I just don't like the process of getting the snow from the air to the ground. That whole process there, I can do without. If we could just skip that somehow and just put the snow on the ground, Oh man, I'd be a happy man. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. How's it going, Diesel? You having a good day? You having a good, you having a good day, man? Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm listening, man. You have a good day? Splendid, splendid, I mean, very nice. Get to here, get to here. We are here at a rest area in Northern Ontario. You wanna see the high quality rest areas we got up here? No, prepare yourself. This might blow you away, this is awesomeness. See that back there? There it is. Oh yeah, that's a high quality rest area right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's the winter rest area, I guess, because there's also a permanent uh, outhouses over there. You see that? Let me zoom in super slow motion. Because that's the only kind of zooming in my camera knows how to do, is super slow. Right there, you see that? Those are the permanent rest areas. Beautiful, aren't they? Very nice. Very nicely painted and everything. Even got doors. What do you know? I'm just messing with you, Ontario. I know that not very many people, well, I guess there's not that much traffic here to merit an actual rest area, but this is uh, 
the Trans-Canada Highway. It's sort of like our interstate. This, this here is the 17. Uh, we're almost at Dryden, I think. So this is the main highway through Canada. If you're going from that anywhere's that way to anywhere's that way, you're driving on that road right there. That is the only road you can take to get across Canada. That's the only one. See, there he goes. There goes the economy right there, you see what I mean? And a few, few four-wheelers. Anyways, I'm gonna let Diesel run around in the deep snow here right now. I think he would just love that. I think, wouldn't you love to run in the deep snow, Diesel? Ah, uh, we like that very much too. First, I gotta put your collar back on before I forget. I took it off to give him a break. I always leave it on, but you know, he seems to be very happy when I took it off, so. I'll let him relax like that for a little bit. Right, Diesel? Be free. Feels good being free, man. I'm like free willy. Not quite, but uh, you're a little young to know what free willy is, I think. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to get him to run up in the deep snow over there. See if I can. Come on, Diesel. <whistles> He's over there hiding behind there. You see him? Diesel, come here. I <laughs> know it smells really good. That's called the garbage. Leave it alone. No, don't eat that. Come on, Diesel. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Up, 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 up. Go up, 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 up. Yeah. Good boy. Is it deep? It's deep in here, man. Come on, come on. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Woo. And boop. Up, up. <laughs> okay, Diesel. <laughs> oh, Diesel. Diesel, Diesel. What is <laughs> That's some deep snow, eh? What do you think of that? You're all full of snow, buddy. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it before you shook it off. Hey, was that fun? <laughs> I didn't get a very good shot of it, but he jumped into the deep snow over there. He just disappeared. Calls his head pops back up. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> oh boy, you weren't expecting it to be that deep. Have you ever seen snow that deep, man? <laughs> oh yeah, fun times, fun times. All right, gotta keep moving, gotta keep trucking. Ontario. Trust me, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's summertime. It's actually beautiful now too. It's just cold. But it's only five hours from Winnipeg. I mean, it's hop, skip, and a jump, and you're in the big city.
looks like they could use a few more people out here. There's a kind of dwindling population. Nice town though. I'd live here. Definitely. If I didn't already have a home. Town of Agnes, population 1300. Looking for some small town living? Here you go. If you like snowmobile, it looks like this is your town. I don't know why I just turned into like a tourist agent for Ignis, Ontario. <laughs> you owe me one, Ontario. Tourism, Ontario. So we're still, like I said, five hours from the city of Winnipeg. Just trucking along, rolling through town here. I guess this is downtown we're coming to. Everybody buckle in. This is a big metropolis here. This is what I want for the front of my pickup. A nice little scraper like that. There you go. Nice Chevy. Nice. Very nice. So I've stopped to sleep here in this town quite a few times. There's a huge parking lot on the other side of town that we passed already. Great for trucks. No lighting though. But it's a good town. I mean, shouldn't have any trouble here. This is way too far out in the middle of nowhere for troublemakers to come all the way out here, you know what I mean? And uh, we're losing our sunlight here. Well, that's okay. That only means there's another new day coming tomorrow. We're still three hours from Winnipeg. <laughs> I think I'm going to stay at the Flying J. That's what I've decided. I'm going to go there and fuel tonight and stay there. They got some internet service there. First, we gotta get out of these hills of Ontario. Like I say every time, like every time I come through here, by the time I'm at this point, I am so sick of Northern Ontario. I just want flat, wide open Manitoba prairies. You know what I'm saying? Not just because Manitoba is awesome, because I love it, it's just because I'm sick of this twisty, windy, narrow road. Oh, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Yeah, we're dealing with it. We're almost there. Like an endurance run. You're almost at the finish line. Don't quit now. Nice little area out here. We're at the Flying J in Winnipeg. I don't actually stay here that often because it's Winnipeg. Usually when I'm in Winnipeg, I just go home, right? But since I'm delivering this trailer first thing tomorrow morning here in the city, I figured I'd just come stay at uh, the Flying J because I got to be here first thing in the morning, anyways. And I just know I'm gonna be on time this way. I don't wanna risk being late or risk the truck not starting in the morning at my house. It's cold, it's like minus 30, minus 30. That's what, negative 25 Fahrenheit, negative something in there, it's cold. But the diesel are gonna stay warm in the truck here. Should be fine. It is packed here though. You guys, if you're watching me right now, which you are, uh, point of advice, Take some extra time parking your truck. Make sure it's straight and not taking up two spots. I think I've said this before. It seems I need to remind everybody. Just make sure you're not taking up two spots. The majority of you park straight, but there's at least one of you watching that's going, whoops, right now. I'm talking to you. That's enough about that. Diesel, you have anything else to add to that? Nothing? It's cold, man. It's cold. Good thing it's warm in here, though. Thanks for joining me today, guys. It was a blast having you with me. All 40,000 of you or whatever, however many there are following me now, just under 40,000. Whew, I'm glad we all fit in here. Yikes. So I'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time on the internet. You can go down below to the description, see what you find there. There should be past vlogs of mine there. Sometimes they take a little bit longer uh, to get them in there. Sometimes they post a little later. Sorry about that, I'm doing my best. But they should be there. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.